Welcome to Activity A here at our Plant Place Rotation. In this activity, you're going to experience the easy work setup as well as section control setup on this new Generation 4 Command Center with the premium activation. In this activity, you're going to change section control and see its effects on the data on the display and as well as the iPad running Seedstar Mobile in the cab. Okay, we're up here in the cab for our Section A ride and drive where we're going to learn about the Generation 4 Command Center with that premium activation and some of the features and benefits that you and your customer will experience with this display. Here on this main run page, the customer can see all the information he'll need during his planting operation. You can see his planter run page where he can see his planter at a glance as well as any pertinent planter information and performance. On the right, he has his guidance as well as his SCV and acre counters. And along the bottom, we have this shortcut bar that's going to allow that customer to quickly get to places he needs in this Generation 4 Command Center. To get started, we want to set up that customer's work data. So to do that, we're going to go to Setup in the bottom left, and we're going to go to his Work Setup page. Again, like I mentioned before, on the main run page, all the information that customer needs to properly set up data and sex control is going to be on this page. So to start out, we want to change this field to 4B. So we're going to click on Location, and it's going to bring up a list of fields on this Generation 4 Command Center. So we're going to select 4B and select OK. Now, it's telling us that there's existing work found. On this Generation 4 Command Center with the premium activation, the customer can select whether he wants to resume work, so if he left, he got rained out, went to a different field, or he can do new work. So by selecting new work, this is not going to delete data that's already been collected from previous documentation on this field. It's simply going to add another map layer on top of this and transmit that to his operations center with any other previous data for the field. So we're going to select new work and then go back to his work setup page. So next, we're going to go verify that the planter is planting at the desired rate for the customer. To do that, on the work summary box, we're going to go down to target rate, and we're going to select controller rate. Now on this page, it's asking us, do we want to put in a, a rate, or do we want to put in a prescription? So in this case, we're going to put in a rate. So to do that, we're going to click on set, and it's going to bring us to the customer's planner page. Now. If you get in a customer's tractor and they're just starting up and the planner page is not the first to come up, down here on the bottom right, you can use the menu button and select, and select his planner from the list of ISOBUS connected implements. His planner may not appear first if it doesn't come online on the CAN bus first. So this may happen when it first starts up. So we're going to select his planner and click OK. And now we're at his main planner run page. So to change rates, you do it the same way like you would on the main planner run page. We see 18,500 seeds per acre here in the top left. We're going to click on that to change the rates. Customer wants 18,000 seeds per acre, so we select rate one, and it takes us back with that change rate on the display. So with that, we're going to close out of this ISOBUS page. We're going to select OK, and this is going to take us back to our work setup page. So now that we've set up the correct field, we have the correct client farm and field in for this customer, we have the con correct controller rate for his planter, now we need to set up section control. So to do that, we're going to go to his equipment, and we're going to select planter. Again, notice that on this page, once we selected planter, everything related to that planner, the working width, dimension, the recording source, as well as his mechanical delay and swath control settings are on this page. This will help out those operators who may not be familiar with setting up swath control or those setting up swath control for the first time this season. So to get to our swath control page, first we need to go to our mechanical delay page and verify that we have the correct mechanical delay. In this case, 0.5 seconds on and 0.1 seconds off is appropriate for this planter. 
Next, we need to go into our section control. So we're going to click on section control. And notice at the top, we have a master on and off for our boundaries, headlands, as well as section control. So currently it's off. We're going to toggle our master switch on. And as you notice, that not only turns on our, our corn, but also our boundaries as well. So now that we have section control on, let's make sure that the overlap is correct for the customer. As you see on the display, we're at 0%. The customer for this field would like it to be at 75%. So simply by clicking on our percent overlap and selecting 75, we've now changed that customer's overlap on his swath control settings to 75%. So now that we've verified that the customer has the correct offsets for his implement, the correct mechanical delay times, as well as the correct overlap, we're going to try this out.